I'm BPS digital learning coach, Jennifer Bulos, and I am super excited to show you the new read with me feature in Seesaw. So we're going to just get started and jump right in. You'll see I'm in a Seesaw class and I'm going to hit plus add, and I'm going to select create activity or assessment. I want my students to practice reading. So I'm calling this MCAS practice. So imagine we're teaching third graders and it's an ELA practice question from the actual MCAS. We would normally add instructions. We can add voice instructions, notes for our colleagues, and align it to standards. Obviously, this would be ELA in reading. So I'm going to go ahead and select Creative Canvas. This is going to be a practice for my students. So to add the Read With Me feature, I'm going to select the check mark underneath the camera. And you'll see Seesaw has been up to quite a bit over the summer. They have a lot of new features. And what we're going to um, focus on is that read with me feature at the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I'm going to paste in the passage from the third grade MCAS. And I'm going to record myself reading this for my students. I have a limit of a two minute recording. and. Seesaw does currently support both English and Spanish transcription. The moment I hit record voice, it's going to start recording. So I just want you to keep that in mind. And here we go. Penguins live on the ice of the Antarctic. They have wings, yet they can't fly. But the penguins are terrific swimmers and divers. They plunge into the icy ocean to catch their meals of fish, squid, and krill. Some can stay underwater for up to six minutes click done. I can listen back to it. I can re-record if it was too fast or if I uh, made any mistakes. If I'm satisfied, I'm going to hit add and it's going to start transcribing it and it's going to upload it right onto the Creative Canvas. Then we can preview this as a student. And as, they're, as the students are hearing me read it, they're also going to see the words highlighted. You're going to hear a silence for just a moment, but I just want to show you how the words are highlighted. Um, we're going to hit preview as a student. This is exactly what the students would see. And again, as once I hit play, you didn't hear that, but you saw the words um, being highlighted. So again, this is a fantastic feature. It's built right in. It's only available for Seesaw for schools, which is what Burlington has as a district. So if uh, a teacher is um, only having access to a free account, they don't have this feature. So we're really fortunate here in Burlington to have that. If we wanted to make any changes, I just exited preview, uh, excuse me, exited the preview as a student mode. And now what we can do is we can add additional pages with additional uh, passages for students to read. Um, once we're um, satisfied with the activity, we're going to hit the check mark and then our students, we can assign it to our students and they can complete this activity. Now I'd like to show you what, um, how you can take this to the next level and you can use the assessment feature with your students. So I'm going to delete that activity. I'm still going to create the, I'm going to use the same name and cast practice, but this time I'm going to create an assessment for students instead of an activity. So this is going to load and you'll see um, the first time you open this feature, your question type will probably be set to multiple choice because I believe that is the default. Um, but I want to point out again, Seesaw has been up to quite a bit over the summer because you'll see here, this is all new. And at the very bottom, we have reading fluency. So this is where students are recording themselves reading a passage. So we can um, change the length here. That was a, about a 15 second recording, but um, depending on the students that we're working with, and again, this is a great way to differentiate, um, assign certain passages to certain students depending on their level, but I can go ahead and make this a 30 second time limit. I'm just going to copy and paste that passage in there and then hit add. And there's the passage for the students and they can record their voice and um, then you can assess their fluency. So. It says this frame is a response to a question preview as student to respond. So that's what we have to do. Thank you, Seesaw. We're going to hit record your voice. Penguins live on the ice of the Antarctic. They have wings, yet they can't fly, so on and so forth. 
And then I just hit done right on that large square instead of the check mark in the top, which is a great feature as well. And then I can play it back as a student and listen to it and re-record if needed. I'm going to go ahead and exit the student uh, preview. And um, hopefully just seeing those two quick things gets you excited about your ability now to assist students with developing their literacy skills. Um, using technology in such a meaningful way, such a powerful way. You can easily differentiate with this now. Um, and I'm really hoping that you are going to want to incorporate this into your instruction in your assessment on a daily basis. Um, if you'd like additional assistance, whether it be as an individual or your grade level team, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. We can collaborate and brainstorm on how we can bring this fantastic technology into our classroom so that we can improve student reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.